Everyone has that bucket list trip. Doing a backpacking trip into the Bob Marshall Wilderness has been a dream of mine for several years now. And it's always been a place that I've kind of regarded with some awe, and to be honest, a little bit of fear. Bearing all that in mind, I was finally provided with the opportunity to cross off that bucket list hike of mine and spend three days in the heart of one of Montana's most spectacular places, the Bob Marshall Wilderness. All right, so we are here in Missoula, still with Nick and Morgan. Uh, Morgan just went off to work, dropped Seth off at the airport. He had to go home to keep working on the, at his internship. And Nick and I are headed up into the Bob Marshall Wilderness. If you know anything about the Bob Marshall Wilderness, you'll know that there's a lot of bears up there. Uh, there are a lot of trout up there, and it is one of the most desolate places in the lower 48 of the United States. So it's gonna be a wild trip. We're prepared as much as we can be. Just packed up the vehicle. We are headed up to the Bob. We are almost to our destination here, uh, heading up into the Bob. As you can see, this view is just incredible. The water is crystal clear. This, you can tell, this is water that it, it probably can produce some big cutthroats. So hopefully we can find some tonight. All right guys, so we made it to our destination. We are at the trailhead. Um, so we got here and we're seeing some other vehicles with their hoods popped. And we're a little unsure of why that is. If you got any idea what it is, drop it in the comments below and let us know. Until we return, if we return. If we return. Alright, you ready? Alright, so we are at the trailhead here. Just packed everything up out of the car. Got all of our gear on. And we're about to step off up into the Bob Marshall Wilderness. So here we go. We're seeing cutthroat, we're seeing some white fish. I'm sure there's bull trout in the bottom. Uh, that It's gotta be 30 feet deep. It's, it's definitely, yeah, it's gotta be. I'd have to shake out my, my things a little. Me too, my feet are I trashed. Yeah. I'm just amazed how beautiful this is. All right, so we are, we're making some headway here. Beautiful views, just unbelievably beautiful views. Uh, wildflowers, we're just kind of walking through this burnt uh, forest here. We're getting a little tired, we're ready for camp. Uh, so what we're probably gonna do is walk till it's 325 right now. We're probably gonna walk till like 4, 430. Start looking for a nice spot to set up camp and go from there. So we just had a scare. I was coming down that slope. Doesn't look too bad. I kind of almost lost control and really took a tumble there. Nick went the other way. All right, so we are, we made our way, you know, we're walking this canyon down to the campsite. Uh, we picked a nice spot just from up where we were walking. And we're coming down that steep bank and uh, I ended up just sliding out of control down it. Lucky that all I got were a few scratches because it freaked me out, it freaked Nick out. Uh, 
you got to be careful whenever you're 50 miles up a dirt road and now probably another six miles from the trailhead of the dirt road uh, so we're just gonna you know keep being safe here get into camp get something to eat maybe do a little fishing So we are at camp. As you can see, we were just in the water. We figured we'd cool off. <laughs> and that water is cold. Woo! Woo! Uh, did some chores around camp. Had a little bit of soup for the evening. Uh, that was our first supper, and then we are gonna have another one. Hopefully supplement it with a few white fish. Uh, so we are, we're gonna get dried off here and then we are gonna go see if we can't catch a few cutties and a few whites. What do you think, a little caddis? Go for it. There's a little spark on it, I think they'll like him. First fish of the trip. So first fish on the trip, picked up a nice cutthroat uh, on a little wet caddis, just twitching it out in the water. Nice fish. Eight to 10 inch cutthroat, not a bad fish, so see if we can get some more. I have been ripping them all night. We're doing pretty dang good down here. There's probably one of the nicer ones. We're not really getting any size right now, but a beautiful fish like that, you know. So we can't complain. All right, so uh, we did end up catching a few fish here first night on the South Fork of the Flathead. And we are just relaxing with the fire. We had some dinner and we are gonna hang up our food and we are gonna rack out, wake up nice and early tomorrow, and we're gonna do some more fishing. All right, we just got up from last night, gonna have a little bit of coffee to start the morning off. Got the stove going here. Nick's doing a little packing up. And we are gonna hit the trail and we're gonna go find a new place to fish. So uh, something that I kinda wanna talk about on this trip, uh, and I might've touched on this a little bit at the beginning of the video, is just how dangerous the bear situation is up here. This is one of the most densely populated grizzly areas, if not the most densely populated grizzly area. So we're taking all the precautions. We have bear spray, uh, two cans, one each, a 44 that Nick's carrying with some bear loads in it, some serious bear loads. Uh, and we are being really careful to make sure that whenever we're washing dishes and stuff, working with food, that everything, that we leave as little amount of scent as possible uh, in our camping area. And we are also hanging our food and anything that might smell, hanging that up in a tree. So we are really trying to play it safe with the bears. All right, we just finished up uh, getting the tent set up. We hiked about, about 12 miles up from the trailhead. Uh, finishing up some soup. We're gonna get our gear together and hopefully fish. There's some nice runs through here with the Big Ben. Hoping to get into some bigger fish today. So, we'll see what we can do.
That's a nicer one too, compared to what we've been catching. Took the Pat's rubber leg. It was actually on the swing. He took it down below, and I've been having a lot of grabs like that. So. So this is uh this is what we've been catching here. Nothing too big. Still absolutely beautiful though. Check out that cutthroat. And yeah, I'd say there he goes, but I'd say we've been we've been averaging. They've been pretty small. But uh whoa! Oh no. Holy cow, I just had a fish on as my net with or my rod was sitting back there. But as you can see, I'm I got the indicator on. That last fish came on a uh, Lively Legs Double Trouble. So, see if we can't get that stone fly back out there. Oh! Ooh. All right, well, yep, like I said, that was one of, I don't know, we probably caught, I probably caught about 15, Nick probably caught about 20, but they've all been so small. So, like I said, we're just gonna keep looking for a big one in here. All right, Nick ended up picking up a nice fish here. Finally, some nice fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice cutty. Yeah, so this fish was caught on like a golden patch rubber leg, a smaller one. Um, but I think we kind of figured it out now. Some of these bigger fish are laying in the deeper holes, which is where we're catching the majority of the nicer fish. So we're going to continue to try to fish those and pull some big fish out of there. Yep, we'll snap a real quick pick and then get him released. There he goes. Dang, that was awesome. Let me keep fishing. This guy, he's going to the frying pan tonight. Is uh, we think we'll eat a few white fish. We're not going to kill any cutthroat, but we'll eat some whiteies. We'll we'll report back and let you guys know how they taste. So, so we ran out of. Um, we ran out of propane, <laughs> so we are, and the only way to cook our whitefish was really to boil it, so we are having some boiled whitefish, compliments of the fire. It'll work. Alright, so, we are beat to say the least. Uh, it's been a really long day. Caught a, a lot of fish. Uh, unfortunately, none of them were really nice, except for the one that Nick caught. Uh, but it was just such a great day of fishing. But the journey is not over yet. Uh, we still have to pack our way out here tomorrow. And we will see what that brings. So we are gonna be turning in pretty soon. It's 7.25 right now. Probably go to bed here about eight. Um, Get up nice and early and get out of here in the morning. All right, so coffee morning number two. We are packed up. We packed up bright and early. As you can see, it's still, it's beautiful outside. It's uh. Sun hasn't really come up quite yet. Um, but we're gonna be stepping off on the trail. Hopefully we make it back to the car safe and sound. Back 
We've returned to civilization. All right, and we figured out why you're supposed to pop your trunk. Apparently there's uh, pack rats that'll get down in there and if you close it, they won't get down in. More for them, so they won't build a nest in there. So yeah, we made it. We survived the bob. be holding on the net. He's 20. He's 20. Hooked me into my backing right away. I broke one off. We're fishing this little flat. <laughs> 